door, baby. You gotta face the guard of war. And get ready, baby. Fire in the house. Another leaked footage of the former undisputed world heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson, has been leaked. And sadly, it's Iron Mike Tyson getting punched and not the other way around. This has come as shocking news to fans and supporters of the boxing legend who are used to the baddest man on the planet throwing his fierce punches at opponents. Even in his prime, Mike Tyson was mostly the main character in many of his bouts as he amassed 50 wins and 44 knockout victories in a career that saw him become the world champion on nine occasions. But this time, he was on the receiving end of a punch in the face. Let's check it out. Day three, ah! Day three. you still wanna fuck with me? <laughs> the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake has engendered all sorts of reactions from both fighters alongside boxing professionals and supporters all over the world. Mike Tyson remains a big name in boxing after striding on the boxing canvas with so much class and elegance. As a result, Mike Tyson's involvement in the match has sparked responses and comments even from those who would normally choose to remain silent about their opinions. Joe Egan, Joe Rogan, Eddie Hearn, Frosch, Oscar De La Hoya, and Dana White are a few of those who have come up with a variety of reactions ever since the announcement of the bout. However, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul aren't left out as well. Both fighters have been reacting consistently since the bout was announced, almost on a daily basis. Mike Tyson is often seen in training and sparring sessions, sending words of warning to Jake Paul while he trains. While Jake Paul has been everywhere, he's been seen in a party, in a gym, in a training session with the US Olympic team, and he's also been seen biting a plastic ear, with the aim of mimicking Mike Tyson's famous ear bite of Evander Holyfield on June 28, 1997. In most footage of Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet is often seen ferociously hurling punches at the punching pads and body of his trainer, Rafael Cordero. These footage have been one of the main talking points over the past few weeks, as many professionals have been made to believe in the ability of Iron Mike Tyson again after coming across the training footage. It is a general belief in the world of boxing that power is the last thing to go. That is a boxer, regardless of how old and worn out he is, would lose every other thing but still have the power. And with Mike Tyson, many have not only referred to his power after chancing upon his training and sparring sessions, but many have also made references to his speed and strength saying the speed of Mike Tyson looks more like that of a young boxer in his prime than that of a 57 year old. In fact, many have gone as far as placing Jake Paul and Mike Tyson's training sessions side by side while comparing the both of them. And in all honesty, Mike Tyson's sessions look more scary, fierce and impressive. With this, many are looking forward to a disastrous July 20th for Jake Paul. And many have gone as far as wishing Mike Tyson puts a full stop to Jake Paul's boxing career when they lock horns in the boxing ring in a few months. But while many are used to Tyson being the puncher in many of his training sessions, his latest training session showed otherwise. Rather than dish out the punches, Tyson was the one wearing a punching pad, and as a result, he was the one receiving punches. Sadly, while receiving those punches, perhaps in an attempt to give a novice some boxing lessons, the puncher wasn't accurate enough to target the punching pads. Rather, he hit Tyson's face in the process. And without hesitation, the lion in Tyson roared. The baddest man on the planet proved to be as bad and as ferocious as he has always been. Once he was hit in the face, he responded with some strong words, causing his boxer to cower in fear and anxiety. After being hit, he responded, if anybody hits me, I'm gonna mess them up. Just letting you know, you made a mistake, I'm gonna mess you up. For many, this is the first time in a long time they would be seeing Mike Tyson getting hit in the face, as Rafael Cordero has been praised on numerous occasions for surviving from Tyson's fierce shots. 
On seeing Mike Tyson being punched, some fans weren't reluctant to air their responses. The first said, Wow, this guy's got so much guts to do this with Mike Tyson. If I meet Tyson any day, boxing won't be part of our discussions at all. The guy's just lucky he's meeting an older and calmer Mike Tyson. The second fan said, This reminds me so much of the guy that Tyson trashed in the airplane. Truly, age does so much to us. Tyson's now so calm and coordinated, an old Tyson could lift this guy off the ground and hit him. The third fan quipped, I can imagine how strange it would be to just want to joke with Tyson and you hit him. You would be lost in your own world immediately. I mean, it's still Tyson, whether old or young. A rather paranoid fan wrote, Please, be careful with how you hit Mike's head. We need that head safe and all right on July 20th. I feel Tyson should use helmets when doing stuff like this, just for safety. A funny fan remarked, Go in peace. Your sins are forgiven. Jake Paul will suffer for your sins. <laughs> Day one, the fun just begun. Mike Tyson's training sessions have been doing the rounds on the internet, and many have lost count of them. Let's do a brief throwback into those training sessions. In his prime, the kid Dynamite was renowned for his in-ring ferocity. A savage and relentless training regimen ensured that he maintained peak fitness levels. It further added to his image as the most feared boxer in the world. Though he mouthed off a chilling warning, as the first footage showed, even at an advanced age, there's no let up from his end in this regard. Former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson posted highlights of his first day of training on social media in preparation for his July 20th fight against Jake Paul, showing Iron Mike looking surprisingly spry and powerful for a man with an AARP card. After showing clips of himself training with his trainer, Rafael Cordero, Tyson walked up to the camera saying, It's day one, the fun has just begun, Tyson says in the video. Tyson is a former undisputed heavyweight boxing champion and holds the record for youngest boxer to win a heavyweight title, winning his first belt at 20 years and four months. He retired from the sport in 2005, but did return for an exhibition boxing match against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Despite returning to the ring for an eight-round exhibition fight against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, Tyson's last professional bout was in 2005. Yet should Tyson's training footage be anything to go by, Paul will not take the veteran fighter lightly. In response to Tyson working the pads, one fan on X, formerly Twitter, said, 57 or not, you'd be crazy to bet against Mike. Jake looks so pretty, I hope Mike doesn't take a bite out of him. Another added, People complaining he's 57? He would beat most boxers still at 57. A third said, he hits pads like he's fighting his trainer. A fourth person said, if it's not an exhibition, it probably is. I can see Mike getting to Jake's chin. Chin is awful defensively and leaves himself open. Paul most recently has taken fights against professional boxers in an effort to legitimize his presence in the sport, knocking out both Andre August and Ryan Borland in December and March respectively. After watching the footage for a few seconds, Paul began to formulate a response, but then leans forward and says, Wait, let me see this. His girlfriend, Yuta Leardham, who was also starring on the podcast, then asked him, Babe, what if he knocks you out? Paul laughed before replying, Whoa, just look away. Just look away. When the topic of whether Paul could get knocked out by Tyson was brought up later on the episode, he said, We shouldn't even talk about it. I'm just too sharp and fast. That's it. I think just being active and being in the arena for years and years now, I don't even get nervous. The nerves aren't even there anymore. I think an arena can feel more intimate and personal. The stadium isn't going to feel as crazy, I don't think. On the flip side, former UFC champion Chuck Liddell backed the boxer if he connects. As soon as Tyson hits him, it's over. The last thing to go is power. If he hits him, it's over. If you've seen Mike, he still hits, Liddell said. Talking about the training sessions and the upcoming bout, Mike Tyson's trainer had this to say. This fight won't be a massacre. It's going to be a very technical match because we have a kid on the other side that can box and isn't afraid, Cordero said in an interview. Mike has such heavy hands and it will be impossible not to touch Jake. Jake will feel Mike's hands, there's no other way. And that's when we'll have an idea on how the fight will go. It's going to be interesting to see. Panic. Paul will panic. That's the goal. Our goal is to keep Jake in panic the entire fight or for as long as he can take it. 
After the first day, Tyson continued promoting the boxing match by sharing training footage to potentially silence the critics. Iron Mike Tyson also released a sequel to his day one video by posting another sneak peek on Instagram, where he had this to say before destroying pads for less than a minute. Day two, I'm getting ready for you. Jake Paul started his professional boxing career by taking out celebrities and retired MMA fighters. Yet, he's changed things up in his last two fights by securing back-to-back first-round knockout wins against aging boxers with more experience in the ring. After the baddest man on the planet released the footage of his second day in training, some fans seem to be gaining hope for Tyson to emerge victorious after coming across the training session, including these comments left on the Day 2 Instagram post. A fan wrote, If this ain't rigged, get the stretcher out for Jake. A second commented, Bruh, did he get faster in a day? Another wrote, Please don't flop or toy with him. Just take him out and remind the world how great your R were. Others said, That muscle memory is starting to kick in. The most amazing thing about Mike is not just the power, but the damn speed. Scariest grandpa out there. While many have been criticizing the fight over the age difference between the two. The youngest heavyweight champion in history, however, remains unfazed, going about his business as usual. In his third training video, the baddest man on the post did a 15 second clip, with Tyson trying a medicine ball slam. It showed him holding the fitness ball over his head with both hands, and then with full force, he threw the ball on the ground, as one of the trainers could be heard shouting, one more in the background. The next sequence featured him alongside trainer Rafael Cordero, moving his body in the famed peekaboo style that might have sent many a fan on a nostalgic drive. Mike Tyson then threw a flurry of combinations. As one of the team members wiped off his sweat in the next shot, the former heavyweight champion let out a wild yell. The final footage has him looking at the camera and shooting a sobering caution. Day three, you still want to mess with me? <laughs> Day three, you still wanna f with me? Unsurprisingly, the video has left most of the followers spellbound. One of the users said, this is gonna be so great, Jakey boy has no idea what is coming for him. Another pointed out, Jake may not show for this. No one would blame home. This isn't some mid-tier on their best day guy. This is the champ. The fourth training day was solely focused on the mitts work, while on the previous day, he engaged in some weightlifting. Tyson has been chronicling his progress and letting the fans know that he's still got it. Only time will tell if Iron Mike Tyson would defy his age and knock out Jake Paul. Until then, it's for sure that fans are having fun watching Tyson train again every day. It might even be nostalgic for a lot of his fans as Tyson showed great footwork and head movement coming forward and delivering punches with aggression on the mitts and the chest guard of his trainer. In the video, Tyson, drenched in sweat, said, Day four? It was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You gotta feed the carnivore. Get ready, baby. Fire's in the house. Even though Tyson has lesser odds than Paul to win in the upcoming bout, some fans are changing their minds and putting their chips on Tyson to win the upcoming bout based on his recent training footage. Besides this training video, Tyson also posted a shirtless video on the internet. And it's safe to say he looks ripped. It's day one, the fun just begun. Many have been urged to forget the cane and forget the wheelchair, as Mike Tyson also dropped a bomb on social media, a video showcasing a surprisingly ripped physique that has fight fans shocked. Despite being relentlessly criticized for his age, Tyson has been looking chiseled and ready for battle. Age and pain are an afterthought once Tyson enters training camp. He's a warrior at heart, and recent clips reveal he still possesses lightning-fast speed while working on the punching bag. However, it's one thing to display speed for a 30-second video. However, it's a mammoth task to maintain that speed for 10, 12 rounds of a boxing match. But his greatest weapon might just be experience. A glance at the fighter's records tells the whole story. One person who assessed Mike Tyson's training sessions and gave a perfect analysis of how the training sessions could impact the match was Joe Rogan. Though it could be argued that Joe Rogan tended towards Mike Tyson, his analysis was no different from the analysis of countless professionals who have given Tyson a benefit of doubt after chancing upon videos of his training sessions. 
While he had a big question to ask from Jake Paul as to why he chose to fight the monstrous Tyson, he spoke about Tyson's unbelievable magnificence in the boxing ring and believed he was still as potent. He approached the 31-year difference between the pair like it was nothing and boasted about Tyson's training intensity like a trainer would do to his trainee. No, why? I don't care if he's 55. That's still Mike Tyson. Mike's in good shape. Mike trains every day. He trains with Rafael Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. He runs King's Mixed Martial Arts. Rogan had nothing but praises for Mike Tyson, as well as his trainer, Rafael Cordero, who he referred to as a MMA legend and renowned trainer. And Rafael is a world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the mitts for Tyson and Tyson smashing the mitts like Jesus, that guy can still knock you out. Talking to Mike Tyson just after he saw the sparring footage with Rafael Cordero, Joe Rogan told him, but that's what I was seeing when I saw you hit the pads. I'm like, this isn't just working out. There was something going on, man. When you were working out with Cordero and you were ripping to the body and throwing those hooks, I was like, this is a man who is preparing to go into combat. This is not normal getting ready to work out stuff. That's why when I saw that video, I was like, oh. Oh. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't know. I don't give a f if he's 55. Yeah. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape too. Oh my God. Mike trains every day. He also referenced Mike Tyson's last fight four years ago against Roy Jones Jr. He stated that the technology for recovery used by Mike and his team were sublime and these technological tools would likely be at his disposal once again. With the additional impact of technology, Rogan tipped Mike for a routine victory. In this world with hormone replacement and vitamins and healing and he does all this like electrical muscular stimulation recovery stuff when they were training mike for that roy jones fight they produce state-of-the-art science like i don't care if he's 55 years old that guy will hurt you funnily rogan held mike tyson in so much high regard that he felt jake paul might get starstruck when he sees him in the ring and really wakes to the reality that he's taking on mike tyson if Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just bobbing and weaving it, he's going to have a recognition. Yeah, he's going to look over. And God, that's really Mike Tyson. Joe Rogan then went ahead to show the footage, appreciating Tyson for his speed and power at such an old age. Rogan also looked back at Mike Tyson's match against Roy Jones Jr., sharing his sentiment that he felt an agreement held Tyson back from hitting Jones in the face. Oh, he wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't, know I don't give a f if he's 55. That's still Mike Tyson. My, my, Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike trains every day. Evidently, most of Tyson's punches, except a few, were aimed at Jones's body. Look at this, dude. I'm talking you make he's still at 55. At 55, the power is the last thing to go, but the speed is still there. I don't know what he did with Roy Jones Jr., but in my mind, it looked like they made some sort of agreement that Mike wasn't going to punch him in the face because like most of the hits that he hit him with, unless it was a jab or something like that, was to the body. Yeah, it is still unclear if this bout between Tyson and Paul will be a professional match or another exhibition bout with the final decision left to the Texas licensing body. Mikey, Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Whoop. March, day one of training. Tyson, who will be 58 years old when the fight occurs, won 50 of his 58 professional matches, including his first 37 bouts. He was a heavyweight champion for nearly 39 months. November 22, 1986, Feb 11, 1990, successfully retaining his titles nine times. Paul, 27, is 9, one with six knockouts in his professional career. His only loss was a split decision to Tommy Fury in Feb, 2023. Obviously, the 31-year age gap is worth noting. Tyson was once the baddest man on the planet. But he's also two decades removed from the end of his professional career. He's also a few years removed from being 60, naturally bringing about concerns regarding his fitness against the much younger Paul. So now it's to be seen whether Mike Tyson will be able to put down a younger opponent and dash his hopes to become a world champion. Will Tyson's raw power and experience overpower Paul's youth and athleticism? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button below. For the very best updates on news, 
moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing? Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.